Welcome to Ray Animator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today we will be talking about Brain Damage. It's a 1988 Frank Henenlotter movie. It focuses around a brain-eating parasite who trades his addictive hallucinogenic blue juice for rides into town to find his next meals. Almer is the parasite who escaped from his elderly captors, we believe, who've been feeding him I guess animal brains, not really getting their hands on human brains. Almer does find his new mode of transport, I guess, in Brian, just randomly. Doesn't really ask him, just kind of appears in the back of his head, giving him a nice little trip. Brian's girlfriend and his brother become increasingly more and more suspicious about his withdrawn manner and now his need for secrecy as the body count rises. So how far will Brian go to get his fix? My likes with this movie, uh, my number one like of this movie is so stupid, but it's the bathtub scene when um, his girlfriend and brother are knocking on the door asking him, you know, what are you doing? We're supposed to go on a date. And he's literally just in the bathtub, like, splashing around and playing with Almer, and he's just squirting juice at him, and they're just having such a good time, screaming woo, like, what's not to love about that? I could watch that scene over and over and over. Uh, the hallucination scenes in the movie, I thought, were really well done. I thought they were very trippy, but not, like, over-the-top trippy. Because sometimes, if there's ever a drug referenced in a movie, I feel like sometimes they take it way over the line. Even though we don't really necessarily have parasitic alien drugs, you get what I'm saying. It's not, like, super unrealistic in the drug realm, I suppose. Also, the puppetry for Almer I thought was awesome. I love that he had a little song. I did watch... Uh, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff on the Blu-ray where the guy who did create Almer and all his little skins and everything for the movie did talk about it, did talk about the puppeteer, how they would do this, how they would do the close-ups when his mouth would open up and his little proboscis would come out. That was neat. I, I love behind the scenes stuff, especially if it's like creature based. I want to see how you came up with that creature. I love that kind of stuff. So dislikes. Um, there was a lot of really unsettlingly weird moaning in this movie and I did happen to rewatch it once I got my hands on a physical copy. I'd seen this years ago, but y you want to, you know, always revisit those movies, especially Frank Ken and Lauder movies. All my windows open, listening to it kind of loud and all the weird moaning and everything going on. It occurred to me, my neighbors can hear all of this and I feel so bad and I did apologize to them profusely. Like, I'm not watching a porno, it's about a parasitic alien, I'm so sorry. They're cool though, they're super cool. Another um, dislike I had that it was never really fully addressed that Brian's girlfriend, he literally catches her nude in bed with his naked brother and it's kind of like, you guys need to get out because I don't want your brains eaten. I'd be like, you know what, bitch? Your brain's going to get eaten because I'm, I'm spiteful, I suppose. Like, I, he, he kind of just let it go. But also, maybe it was because he was crazy addicted to the, the juice. But I don't know. I feel like I would have reacted poorly in that situation. And I was kind of like, Are, you're just going to let that go? Okay. Whatever. So I do freaking love this movie. I give this a four out of five. It's amazing. I definitely recommend it. It is kind of hard to get your hands on in regards to uh, streaming. I couldn't find it anywhere streaming. I did find it in a local movie store that we have. However, they wanted to charge a lot of money for it. So I ended up, you know, my uh, tried and true Amazon did find it there. I think I got the Blu-ray DVD combo. It was a really, really good price, so I was stoked about that. There are really good bonus features on it. I didn't get to watch them all, but the ones I did watch, mainly the one about the puppeteering and the creation of Elmer, were awesome. 
So I totally recommend this movie. If you like weird movies, if you're into weird moaning, maybe if you're not into weird moaning, but you know what I mean. Um, fun bathtub scenes. You like taking baths with weird parasites. This is the movie for you. So if you did like the movie and the review, uh, please give me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the bell for all of my notifications. Please subscribe to the channel. You can also find me on Twitter at Ray Animator and Facebook Ray Animator Reviews. And I totally think everyone needs to watch this movie now. So get right on that.